during the time of Jesus. It was under the empire of Roman. There was lacking of food. In crisis for the food, the crowds followed Jesus. Some purpose was to get food, not to mention to cure their sicknesses. And then, uh, if you heard in the gospel, the disciples asked Jesus to, to let them go because they have only five loaves of bread and two fish. But Jesus tell them, give them food. Feed them. It is impossible to feed the crowds. Imagine 5,000 men, mas maraming babae at mga bata. But Jesus told the disciples, feed them. How could it be? Because we have only five loaves of bread and then two fish. It is common reaction of the people if you have less you have little and then it's very common to keep it for yourself but Jesus told them feed them And then, if you notice it, when they were doubt, Jesus tell them to bring the loaves and the fish. He blessed it. He broke it and gave it to the people. And then it was multiplied. Even more than they have, there was left over. This is the miracle of giving. When you give, you will receive. The Chinese saying, the more you give, the more you receive. That's true. In Tagalog, magbigay ka, Babalik sa iyo, siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. The condition is, you should be open to give. In our context, maybe we have a little bread, little fish, but if you are open to give, it will be multiplied. There is no reason not to give. In our daily life, the community life, maybe it's not, uh, we do not think, think much of uh, bread and loaves because you have but there is something you have to give to the people your service your love your concern there is people waiting for you to talk with There is people waiting for you to forgive you. 
or to forgive someone. There is people waiting for you to approach him or her. That's your gift, your heart. Whatever we have, we should share. Bahala na ang Diyos to multiply whatever you have.